So basically, Kotaia itself as a community is um, very Fano based. It is somewhere that is idyllic in the sense of it's surrounded by beautiful beaches and it's just a really lovely community to be a part of. It's a small town. I've always grown up in a small town so I know what it's like to know most people and, and see them most weeks. It has a lot to offer. It is a beautiful place to be. In the, the day you always have to come home. And for me, I was always planning to come home. Part of my long-term goal was to be a teacher at Kodai College. To make change. Good thing about being at Kodai College, uh, first and foremost, is the kids. They deserve to have the best and quality teachers there. My experience here has been pretty cool. Made a lot of new friends. Um, made good memories as well. My experience here has been uh, wonderful getting to know people, getting to know my school. Um, my fucker pop on my roots. The thing I enjoy about the teaching at Kai Tai College is the staff members are always nice. I think the staff are pretty cool, pretty chill, and they're nice to converse with. Sometimes if you really need help, they'll come to you, or if you need help, you can go to them. I like learning new things, I have a taste for knowledge. My favourite subjects are music and MPA. My favourite subject is probably music. Summertime And the living is easy Music at Kaitai College is just, it's just fun. Like you get to be yourself, express yourself in a way that you can't really do any other way. It's, it's like art. You're just putting yourself out there, but instead of a visual sensation, it's, it's audio. It's cool. Uh, the music department puts on all kinds of soirees. The students pretty much run the soirees entirely by themselves, almost. Options are my favourite, because you get to move around and look at other different parts of what options you're going to do, like music, EPA, health, art. The school does care quite a lot about the arts because there is a lot of art-related classes. I was in the Taitokiro group, go to Taitokiro Festival, and we just perform. The Taitokiro Festival is just a big showcase for all the Kapaka groups. <laughs> There's two stages, one is for the Kermata and Kuya, and the second one is for people performing in front of four school. I think cultural events are pretty important. Staying in touch with your roots. And I think it benefits a few of our students. What I like performing as a part of a group is that you all use all in it together. And if someone mucks up, you can prompt them, you can tell them what to do, or you can offer them. You have other people there right beside you. We have incredible beaches. Um, Puheki is one that not many people know about, but it is brilliant white sand, it's absolutely beautiful, it's off the beaten track so you have to take a dirt road to get there. Besides that, beautiful beaches, beautiful sights, 90 mile beach, fishing is great. The closest point between east and west in the North Island is approximately 7 kilometres. Uh, you can travel the east side of uh, North Atlanta Beach and you can make it to the west within approximately 20 minutes. Cape Rianga is actually where two seas meet, so it's the very top of the North Island of New Zealand. Two seas actually meet in the middle. There's a lighthouse there. It was very important that they didn't hit the top of New Zealand and obviously the rocks that are there as well. But it's also the final journey for where our tupuna or our people and our spirits travel before they head off on their further journey. It's a hugely significant place for all of New Zealand. Come on, come get a taste of Norfolk. Come, come to our wonderful school down in here, Te Kuo Teika, the wonderful Muri Whenua. Thank you.